I think the NFL season, like every NFL season, is exactly as expected, unpredictable. You, you learn to expect the unexpected, and that's what happened. As we were sitting here, you know, back in July, would anybody have predicted that uh, Miami would start off at one and seven, and that Dave Wanstatt would resign? No. Would anybody predict that? Eli Manning would not play for the New York Giants, that David Rivers would not play for the New York Giants. Because you go back to draft time, those two were big names. But now what do we see? Ben Roethlisberger is not only taking the Pittsburgh Steelers to the next level, but he's done it because Tommy Maddox had gotten hurt. And here's some kid from some small little college that's taking advantage of an opportunity and doing great things with it. So again, there are you've learned to accept the unexpected. And I think those things make the NFL very exciting. One of the guys that I'm very pleased about because he played for me, played with, with us one year in Berlin, then one year in Cologne, is a punter by the name of Steve Cheek. Steve's making a big contribution uh, with the Kansas City Chiefs right now. I think I would be very remiss if I didn't mention to you right now that it's been a great opportunity for our kicker, Ola Kimron. Here's another player who's the product of a national player development program. He's a guy who's not an American, yet he's having a big impact with the Washington Redskins. I think it's a tremendous improvement for Demetric Evans, who who was a player, came into this league as a free agent, and is now seen playing time with the Washington Redskins. I think you have to be exceptionally impressed with Cullen Jenkins, who's had an awful lot of playing time with uh, the Green Bay Packers. Uh, from there, I know there are probably players that other coaches would know much more intimately than what I know, but I just think that the players from Cologne that I just mentioned it, have made a big impact in the NFL and have done very, very well. And then we've got a bunch of players on practice squads throughout the league. Exactly, you know, and, and I, but part of my story that I just said about the Steelers is the Steelers beat the Patriots. The first one, to, to, you know, they were the team that ended the 21 game win streak, but then the Patriots came back to, to win. I, you know, when you talk about somebody having some success in this league, I think it's an interesting phenomenon that Tom Newton coaches in our league. Then the uh, St. Louis Rams call him out of retirement, and he's playing a little bit for him now. But, uh, yeah, the, I, I, being in Boston, you can't say you expect the Patriots to win, but they're a pretty solid football team. Those guys have done a great job. And I think it was a big surprise that they started off low because Trent Green really didn't pick up to where he was a year ago. But was it Trent Green or was it because Kennison and some of their receivers uh, weren't as healthy as they were a year ago? But they've also started to pick up a little bit slack. Maybe they're not playing as consistently as they did a year ago, but they've improved after the first three or four games. Who'd have thought Seattle would have lost three in a row in the middle? Uh, there's a lot of things like that that you can point your finger at. Who would think that the Atlanta Falcons would have gotten off to as great a start as they did with Michael Vick not playing well. Everybody expected Michael Vick to be the star, and he struggled a little bit early, yet Atlanta still won. So, and New York Giants have done a great job. Uh, New York Jets have done a great job. Uh, there have been a lot of exciting things to watch. Bill Parcells does a tremendous job of getting everything, all that he can out of the talent that's presented to him. I think one of the phenomenons of the NFL right now is Vinny Testaverde, and not how well or how poorly he's playing, but he's playing. I mean, that's the bottom line, and that's probably the next step for the Cowboys, is to find an established running back and to find themselves a young or an established quarterback that's a little bit younger than what Vinny is, but you have to take your hat off to their coaching staff and to Vinny Testaverde just for playing, and it's going to be, I love watching them play because of the intensity with which Bill Parcells coaches. Oh, you know, I, I get the conferences mixed up, so I may get this screwed up a little bit, but I would think the Patriots will be there in the end. It sure seems like the Steelers will be there near the end. Philadelphia will be near the, there near the end. And I can't quite put that fourth team in there. Is it, uh, is it Seattle? Those four games that they, three games that they lost in the middle puts a little bit of a question mark in it. It used to be the St. Louis Rams, but, you know, they've started to fade a little bit. Is Atlanta strong enough to, to catch on at the end? Uh, well, Kansas City get hot, so it'll be interesting. But I would be very surprised if Pittsburgh, the Eagles, and the Patriots aren't there someplace. It's going to be interesting. The reason I hesitate is if the Patriots can get healthy, then they've got a great chance. But they played this past week with some inexperienced corners. And with the way people throw the football this in the league now, you better be pretty experienced at that, at that position. They need Ty Law back. But Tom Brady is a guy that you can't undersell. I mean, he has just done a fabulous, fabulous job. And Bill Belichick has done a tremendous job. So I wouldn't bet against them. I won't go so far as to predict that they'll win it again.
You know something? I really don't. I, I haven't. I don't watch enough much of NFL. I get it at the house, but ironically enough, I don't watch much of it. I, I watch. I have the NFL Sunday ticket, and I flip around and watch different games. Sometimes I watch all the games and never see any of them, if you know what I mean. The uh, but I, I'll spend a lot of time on ESPN watching the different press conferences on Monday and Tuesday, and then by the time you hit Wednesday, there's usually a college game on TV, so I'll end up watching those.